Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review and today I have two very cool and profitable placeables to review for you guys. First up we'll be taking a look at the Distiller's Corn Factory placeable version 1.0.0.1. File size for that is 36 megabytes. That would be that one over there. And that's capable of making three different resources out of one. You put in corn, you get out Distiller's Corn, liquid fertilizer and fuel as well. So very very handy little mod. Then we'll be taking a look at this guy right here. This is like a mini oil refinery. Some people will be familiar with this, but this one's so small you can fit it right on your farm. So very cool. This is called the Placeable Farm Fuel Oil Press and Manure Production. Fall size for this is 12 megabytes. And this is capable of uh, making two resources out of one. Now you can either put in sunflower or canola and you'll get out manure and fuel as a kickback. And uh, you get quite a bit for that fuel too. So yeah, what we're going to do guys is I'm going to discuss a few things regarding these mods. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then I'm going to set them up and show you just how they work. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to start on over here with this very profitable little placeable. This is the Distiller's Corn Factory placeable version 1.0.0.1. File size is 36 megabytes. Price in the shop to buy it is $30,000 with a $10 a day maintenance fee. Now you put in corn, you, it holds up to 80,000 liters. And like I said, it makes uh, uh, distiller's corn, you get 40,000 liters worth. Liquid fertilizer and fuel, you get both 20,000 liters for each of those. So, And I sold them, I, it comes out to a really good price, but it's going to de depend on the map you're on and uh, what the prices are set at on your uh, selling screen. So. Let's take a look at this. Let me get rid of my speed mod here. So you're going to bring your corn right on over here. You're going to drop it off right there. That's where you're going to pick up your distilled corn. It's going to fill up that bin and you can use a tipper here. You can set this to auto load or manual load, whatever you prefer. You'll pick up your fuel right here. And you'll pick up your fertilizer from the back there. So there is your three products you're going to get and that is liquid fertilizer. I'm getting a little bit of lag here guys because I got so much going on but uh, let's go over to the shop and we'll take a look at that it's going to be under placeables of course now I get a lot of other things in here so don't let that distract you by the way there's two placeables for the oil refinery I got to show you that separately actually there's four all together there's four pieces to that but let me not jump ahead of myself here is the distiller's corn factory like I said it's thirty thousand dollars in the shop with a ten dollar a day maintenance fee and that's what it looks like to set up now the one thing about this placeable guys I got to tell you when you're setting it up you're gonna have to watch where you put it because you need access to all four sides of this so if you need to put it up against something just leave a little room in the back so you can drive something through because you will need access to all four all four sides of this so just keep that in mind the uh, biofuel plant here can uh, actually go up against the wall if you don't want to drive right across you can just back in there if you wanted to so that is that so let's move on over here now actually this looks a little different when you set it up like I said that uh, that uh, fuel pump there in the selling point that sells the fuel that stores your fuel for uh, filling up your vehicles and stuff they're separate I just happen to put them here close so this is the firm fuel oil press and manure production plant the file size for this is 12 megabytes really small price in the shop to buy it is 90,000 with a 115 dollar a day maintenance fee now this is capable of processing 200 liters of fuel per hour so that is really really good like i said you can put in either canola or sunflower 30,000 liters worth and you'll get both manure and fuel as a kickback now the amount of fuel manure I got when I did it it was 10,384 liters and 23,076 liters of fuel and it paid out quite well so we'll be testing that all out let's go down and take a look at it I have to tell you straight up that these monitors don't work when you walk up to them but they will light up once you once the factory starts up and that's the same as this one for some reason and the, the monitors kind of hid behind these silos here it's kind of hidden in the back but Regardless, it doesn't really work. The only thing you could really do is go over to the pipe and set it up. See, I can put it to, with the R key, I can put it to switch to manual filling or just automatic filling. So I, I'd like manual. Just with the R key instead of dumping out as soon as you get under it. So let's go over and take a look at the bio factory here. So there's where you're going to pick up your manure. And your fuel is going to come out of that little pipe on the bottom there. So this stuff won't be in the way once we set that up. Actually, I'm going to go over and get rid of that right now. 
Let me just put them over to the side here so I don't get uh, mixed up. So let's put our fuel pump down. We'll just put this over here somewhere. Yeah, right around there. Go back. There is the place where you're going to sell it. And we'll put that fairly close to, we'll turn it a bit. There we go. Right there seems to be good. Okay. So let's look at these over at the shop. Like I said, it's $80,000 for that. This takes canola or sunflower and it makes manure or it said power food but it's um, um after testing it i'm pretty sure it's manure that comes out of there and fuel on the other what you get from this tank here so yeah 115 dollar maintenance fee this is a hundred dollars for the pumps and a five dollar maintenance fee it holds eight thousand liters and yeah you put it in there and you can just refill your vehicles for free basically and this is a selling point that's also a hundred one dollar a day maintenance fee and you can sell all your biofuel right there so guys i'm going to go get a few things set up and i will be right back and we'll test these out so i think i'll go ahead and put the corn inside the distiller corn plant got a full tipper here 200,000 liters worth and it's going to hold we should have 120,000 liters left when this guy's full that'll be 80,000 liters i guess i just dump it right there Oh, by the way, this is an air-free log for both of these, so that is very good to know. I like how these are mini versions of themselves, because these are usually a lot bigger placeables. But you can put these right on your farm that are that small. So there is our corn. That factory is filled up, believe it or not. And I'm going to give you time it takes to refine that, guys. We will actually go through it ourselves, but... Yes, when I did it myself, it actually took 16 hours and 10 minutes to go through that uh, 80,000 liters of corn. So 16 hours and 10 minutes in game time. And we'll start filling up the other one because that's all that needs is corn. So, like I said, I'm going to set up the other factory here. I just got one set up. Go over to placeables. I think this is the one. No, this is the one we got set up. So this is the one that takes the canola or the sunflower. And we'll fill this guy up as well. Okay, back we go. I think this one may be the one that you get the uh, forage from. So you get fuel and forage from this one uh, when you add canola or sunflower. So we'll put uh, whatever this is. This is sunflower. Let's go fill this guy up. Go on over here. Oh no, that doesn't go there. This is kind of neat. Watch this. I forgot about this. You put it in that little grate in the ground over there. Watch it open up once I back up to it. I'm not very square with it, but you get the point. Goes in there. <laughs> Pretty neat, eh? Okay, there is our canola. 30,000 liters worth. I just want to show you that you can put either sunflower or canola in there. we got some canola right here. Actually, right next door. I'll put some canola in the other one. Yeah, I like the way they open up when you back up to them. That's cool. Going right in there this time. Okay, 30,000 liters. And I'm going to go ahead and speed up time, guys. So I will be right back. So once again guys, the processing time for this, to go through all 80,000 liters of corn, it's going to take 16 hours and 10 minutes in game time, in a round. And these little placeables here take a lot longer to, to uh, process. Now how long did it take me to chew through that? Because I know it was over two games in there, or two full in-game days I should say. Yeah, it takes about 50 and a half hours guys in game time, so it's going to take you two full days to go through all that but it'll be much worth it once you uh, process it. Plus the uh, site where you download these from guys, he actually explains how to uh, go into the settings and adjust this. So you can adjust like how fast it processes, how fast it dumps out. You can set that yourself if you don't like the times. By the way, there's all digital displays around here as well. Everything's digital. So that should be power food and that should be manure coming out of there, although they look the exact same. 
but we'll find out once it finishes processing as well as this one. This one will definitely be done faster, but uh, let's keep going with the time here. Oh, that is done. Probably went a little too far with the time, but I'll give you an idea how long that takes. Plus, it'll be written on the screen for you by the time I uh, get everything up and ready. Okay, so that's all done. Now, these ones take a heck of a lot longer, but I'm going to fast forward time now. I'm going to go ahead quite a bit, actually. That counts down, that percentage on the top. And that is canola and sunflower turned into, see it says animal food, so this one over here does not say that. Oh, this one says animal food, they both say animal food. Well, we'll have to see when it's done because I don't think that's the case, but. So let's slow down time here to see if uh, this thing's still going out from the major fast forward. What are we at? 42%. Look, see, I went two full days and that's still going. So, and there's still 27% left. So, let's go ahead a little more. No, not quite. Let's go ahead just a little bit more. So, you'll see it takes over two days in game time to get that refined. Okay, that is completed. Now, if you're on a map and you're wondering where you uh, sell the distilled corn, just go over to your map screen here. Go over to where all your products are and just scroll over until you see the distilled corn. Now, there's the distilled corn. It just shows corn with a drop. Now, there's the different prices I'm getting for it and the different places I can sell it. So, I think I got more the first time, but uh, that's quite all right. Castaway's elevator, we're going to take that too. Okay, corn please. That's what distiller's corn looks like. You get a lot of money for that stuff, guys. It's pretty valuable stuff. Now, when I sold this the first time, I'll tell you what I got. I sold it to Silk Corn. I got $43,040. And it was only 40,000 liters worth, so not bad. Okay, while he's filling up there, I'm going to get this tanker around back to grab the fertilizer. Actually, I'll grab the fuel first since it's right there. And this fuel is able to sell at the uh, that cell point too that comes with the uh, bio. I find they unload a little slow, but not too bad. Like I said, you can adjust those settings if you want to go in and do it yourself. Let's see what we get. And we'll compare it to what I got the first time. Twenty-nine thousand five hundred and twenty-nine. The first time I got forty-three thousand. So. Like I said, the price is going to fluctuate, especially after you already sell a temper. It's going to be much cheaper the next time around. So, and we'll go over and grab our tanker of fuel. 20,000 liters aboard. How f as much as that has. Now, I'm going to show you. I'm going to sell this one. But you can put it in there. I like that that lights up too, that little pump. Okay, let's sell it and see what we get. Now guys, if you want the hose animations, you will need the latest version of the Farmer Andy's Universal Cote Pack, Tanker Pack. You will need the latest version for the hoses to work. I'd imagine it'll work with other tankers, but you may not get the hose animation. So we'll get a, quite a chunk for this. The last time I got 39600 for the fuel, guys. Let's see what we get this time. So between these three factories, we got quite a bit of uh, fuel. So it's not going to be the same... Uh, price every time we sell it. But it look, it's manure. I don't know where they get power food out of that. It's manure. Okay, we'll go sell that. We'll see if the other one maybe will give us the power food. What do we get for that? 4,012. That sounds more reasonable. Yes. Look at that, guys. This one you get power food. I don't know exactly what kind of power food that is, but... It's definitely got a different look to it. It may be pig food here. That may be it there. If that's the case, we can't sell it. We're just going to have to use it as power food for the animals. But that's quite all right. Either way, it's going to pay off. So, power food for your animals? Sure. I'd say that's it right there, guys. Unfortunately, you can't sell it. But uh, you can use it for your animals. I think it's pig food myself.
Now I would empty that one too, but I got over half here, so I don't think it's going to all fit in. But uh, what I'm going to need to do is go over and grab another tanker. And that's still selling. We're going to get a good little chunk of money for this one. Nice, look at that. $45,692. So very, very nice. Okay, we're going to use the same guy to go around back here and get our liquid fertilizer. Let me forget about that now. Fill her up. And that'll be it. So you look at all them products you get from a bit of corn and a bit of canola or sunflower. Very, very nice. It'd be almost worth setting up the two of them because you get power food and manure from uh, both of them. Well, you get power food and fuel from this one. This one you get fuel and uh, manure. So they both pay off pretty well. This is the best bang for your buck. Because you're just putting uh, corn in there. Probably one of the cheapest crops you can farm. And you're getting fuel. Uh, the distilled corn, which is worth quite a bit. And the liquid fertilizer. So great little, great little mod. Okay. That is all of our fuel. So yeah, you're getting fuel from all three of these. And we're going to get quite a bit of that, because I think there was more in this one. I can't remember. No, they hold the same amount. It should be the same amount. Okay, let's go check on this guy. All that's selling. He's all filled up. Okay, we'll go sell this. Bam, 45, $45,692. So look at that, guys. Plus you can use that stuff to refuel anything on your map that takes fuel. Let's go sell our fertilizer and we'll wrap this up. Okay, sell our liquid fertilizer. Okay, I can just leave this guy here and head on back over here. What's up? So there you go guys. 11,771 we got for that. So like I said, two very profitable placeables. You put these right on your farm. They're only tiny little things too. So once again, guys, that was the Distiller's Corn Factory placeable version 1.0.0.1. File size for that is 36 megabytes. Then we have the Firm Fuel Oil Press and Manure Production. File size for that is 12 megabytes. And like I said, that comes with that one, that one two refineries comes with the uh, tank over here you can put some fuel in and it comes with the sales point so all that for 12 megabytes additional information and links can be found down below in the description guys I really hope you enjoyed today's review if you did maybe you can leave a like on your way out and if you're new to the channel guys why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day plus my patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to a smaller channel it really helps out. So until next time, take care and I will see you all in the next one.